One of the main problems in transporting products to rural areas is that delivery companies are spending about 53% of all shipping costs on getting packages to their final destination. It's something that they call the final mile delivery. Yeah, and now a middle school robotics team has come up with an idea to help solve this problem. Our Caroline Coburn joins us live in the studio to explain bus boxes. Hey, Caroline. Good morning, Robin Reba. It's really a great idea, and it's an idea the St. Bridget Middle School Robotics team came up with as part of their innovation project. And this project could not only help transport Amazon packages, but it could also give bus drivers a chance to make extra money between the times they drop off and pick up students. Now, the student's idea includes installing two storage compartments at the bottom of a bus on the sides. Each 22-foot box would be made of recyclable materials and could hold between 20 and 25 packages. Sounds like a pretty good idea, right? Well, now the Virginia General Assembly is actually considering a bill sponsored by Republican Senator Savant Donovan to look into implementing the box, bus boxes. It passed the Senate and a House subcommittee unanimously. While these students are now pros in science and problem solving, they've also gotten a civic lesson and now understand how to communicate with their local representatives. Uh, we had some lawyers at Williams Mullen who said, hey, we don't think that having school buses deliver packages is legal in Virginia, so you're going to have to get the law changed. So we said, okay, how do we get the law changed? And so and we just, we reached out to some of the students, all found out who their representatives were in governor, government. It was kind of scary at first, um, having to talk to someone who's so high up in Virginia, especially in the government. And it, she was very nice. It was very, it was a streamlined process. She helped us out, but we did get to learn a lot about how the Virginia government works. Very smart team there. And this team is actually one of 108 teams from 50 different countries heading to the first Lego League World Championships in April. Now coming up at 652, Rob's going to take you inside the classroom and show you the work that goes into the robotic side of this competition and this week's Building Better Minds. Rob Freeba. Look forward to that. All right. Thanks, Caroline.